Welcome to New York State MLS. My name is Dawn and I'm going to show you how to search the tax records using New York State MLS. First, you go to nystatemls.com and click login. If you are a member of New York State MLS, log in, uh, click on the search button on the menu, and click on search the tax records. Now when you search the tax records in the state of New York, all of the 62 counties in the state are available and uh, the boroughs, the five boroughs of New York City have the parcel name available. If you're looking to get the sales web from the counties outside of the five boroughs, this is where you would search for that information. You need to put in the county first and I'm going to do a search in Saratoga County just to demonstrate how to do that. You click on the county button and you can either start typing the county that you want, there's Saratoga, or you can just scroll through the list and select it from the list. I'm not going to select any particular town or section block and lot, street address or owner name. In this case, I just want to search property records that have sold and specific property types that have sold within a time frame. The sale date, I'm going to go back to the first of the year. And I could type that in on my keyboard or I can just scroll through the calendar. I'm going to leave the ending date open because I want to see everything to present. If I wanted to see a specific date range, I could enter that here. Sale price, I'm going to look for everything from 200,000 and I'm just going to do 200K to 500K. Again, I could put the zeros in, but it's just a lot easier to use the K. Under property type, I'm going to select a particular property type. I want to check for residential properties. And I don't want single family in this search. Uh, specifically, it's, it's always harder to find comparables of the one family with accessory, two family, three family, and that type of thing. So I'm going to be looking for a one family with accessory apartment, a two family house, or a three family house or I want to find a multiple residence property, and that's when there are more than one house on one tax parcel. So I'm going to check those as well because I happen to be searching for comparables for a multifamily property in Saratoga. I'm going to click OK. Here I can enter a lot size if I want to restrict my lot size. I don't want to do that, but I could do that. And that would be great for a land search, and I could order the search results um, in a particular way, like by date, low to high, price, low, high to low, or assessed value. I don't want to do any of that. I'm just going to leave that blank, and I'm going to click search. And it's telling me I have 61 results. And sometimes you might see a duplicate here. And the reason that you see a duplicate here is because sometimes there's more than one recording for that property. Sometimes that could mean that more than one parcel was involved in the sale or there could have been more than one name involved in the sale. And so when you open up the record and look at it, it'll be more clear as to why there were two records. And sometimes it is just a mistake on the part of the taxing municipality that uh, recorded the sale. And this information does come from those taxing municipalities. And sometimes you'll see uh, price sale prices that seem odd and in those cases when that happens that can often occur because um, these sales are manually entered by humans and so we call that human error. Now I received 61 entries um, in all the different towns in Saratoga that recorded a sale and I very specifically want to find multi-families, two families in Saratoga Springs so I want to filter out all these other towns. And how I do that is I can just show the filters here. And I can add the word Saratoga Springs to my search. And I can click search. And now I have 27 entries in just Saratoga Springs of the different classes of properties that sold here. Now to view the properties that sold, you can click on Actions, View Record, or you could just click on the link here of the address. I'm going to click on Actions, View Record. This property is a 
220 class, a two-family, year-round residence. It sold on January 21st of 2017 in an arm's length transaction, and there were two parcels involved in this sale, and it tells you that here. It also tells you the deed date. It tells you the owner's names, and these were actually the seller's names, and the buyer's name is, is here. Information about the sale is here. The structure is 1,890 square feet. The first floor is 1,005 square feet. It was built in 1880 on a crawl space basement. It has two kitchens, hopefully, good, because it is a two family. And it's on 0 0.10 acres. I do like this sale. This is a good comparable for my uh, CMA that I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to my CMA. I'm just going to click Add to CMA, and it says Select a CMA. Now, if I've already started a CMA, and I have many started, I can choose one that fits this um, sale, and I can continue with a CMA that I've already started, or I can just start a new one. Well, I haven't started one yet, so I'm going to click Create New CMA, and I could call this uh, the property name or the client name I'm doing the CMA for, but I'm just going to call this multi-units in Saratoga, and I'm going to click Save. And from here I can view the CMA, which just has this one sale in it right now, because I just added this sale, or I can just close it and add some more sales. I want to add some more sales, so I'm just going to click Close. I'm going to scroll through to my next property, and I click the Next button, and I've received another sale here. There's 130 Van Dam Street. Uh, that's a three-family, property class 230, three-family residence, and I'm looking for two families, so I'm going to skip this one. This one's 69 Lawrence Street, also a three-family, 230 class, three-family year-round residence, so again, I'm going to skip this. Here's one, 54 Van Dam Street. It's a property class 220. It's a two-family residence. It sold for 200,000 on July 7th. It's 0 .06 acres. It has the, um, the size, the age. It's also a crawl space foundation. Down here are the improvements. There's a porch and a shed. I am going to add this to my CMA. I clicked Add to CMA, the CMA box pops up. I'm going to click Select, Multi-Unit Saratoga, that's the name of the CMA I'm doing, and I'm going to click Save. I want to keep adding properties, so I'm going to click Close, and Next. 79 Lake Avenue, that's another three-family, so I'm going to skip that. Here's a two-family, 32 Andrews Street, that sold on March 27th in 2017 for 360000 It's an old style building with two kitchens on 0 .10 acres. It's larger than the first one I selected, but I still think it's a good comparable. I'm going to click Add to CMA. Again, the box pops up. I want to add this one to Multi-Unit Saratoga and click Save. I can view it now, or I can add another one. I'm going to add one more. Click Close. Hopefully I find another one in the list. There's 14 Thomas Street, and that's a two-family. It sold on May 19th for 230000 It's 2,000 square feet, built in 1860 on 0 .10 acres. It has two kitchens, porches, and a garage. I'm going to add this to my CMA as well. Multi-Unit Saratoga, click Save, click Close. Let's see if I can find another comparable, just to make sure that I have all the information in my CMA. This one's 87 Oak Street. I like this comparable. It's a, it's a two-family house. It sold on January 3rd for 345, 2,184 square feet, built in 1880 with a couple of porches, and I am going to add this one to my CMA as well. Now it's time to view my CMA. I'm going to click View CMA Multi-Unit Saratoga here. And I have 
a completed CMA with one, two, three, four, five comparables. And there are my five comparables. I don't have a subject property. But if one of these happened to be my subject property, I could then click on Actions and make subject. For the purpose of this example, 108 Clinton Street is my subject property. I'm going to click Actions and make subject. And it says, do you want to overwrite the current subject property with 108 Clinton Street? Now what you want to do is make sure that you put your subject property in as a comparable. And here's how you do that. You, from the tax record, when you click search tax record, you look for the property that you want to be your subject. We have the whole, uh, all of the properties really in New York State are in there that are outside of the five boroughs and even some in the five boroughs are there. And then you just click add that to CMA. And then when you once it's here, you click make subject property. And that's how you get the property in to your CMA. From here, you can make adjustments from the sold price. In other words, we have status, sold, sold price is here. And where you make the adjustments is on the features of the comparables. You always adjust the features of the comparables. If you want to edit it at any time, you just go up to clients rather, client CMAs, and you will find that CMA here in your list. You can click on Actions and you can assign it to a client. You can view the report, you can email it, delete it, or of course edit it.